In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Post-Trans to manipulate the pricing data within Sage Line 50, saving it many hours manually typing and altering prices. First of all, we're going to hone in on the actual list data. So we're going to extract a list of price lists from Sage Line 50, add a new one and post back into Sage Line 50. And then we're going to hone in on the pricing information. So we're going to extract again the pricing from Sage Line 50, amend and add some new records uh, and then of course import those changed prices back into sales line 50. Of course post trans can also post nominal journal stock adjustments sales invoices and sales quotes purchase orders and many other different types of transactions saving hours of time. Uh, can also help with bill of materials and price lists. Feature rich it's very feature rich in that it provides in sale searching for looking up codes such as stock items etc and validate them before importation. I'm going to demonstrate it on Sage Line 50 in this video, but the same functionality is available for Sage Line 200. So let's just explain the data we're going to access here. Switch to Sage Line 50. Here we are in Products and Services, a list of products or stock records within Sage Line 50. I'm just going to go up to the price list data here. Press that, and here we can see a list of price lists we've got set up for various customers. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract those and we're going to create a new one. And then we're going to extract the pricing information, which is held underneath here, all this here. And we're going to copy it to a new price list and change some prices. So let's do that in Excel. So for start, we've installed Post-Trans for Sage. And you can see there's an extra option here. This is Excel 2013, but it would work in all versions of Excel since 2000. So clicking on there, you can see we've got six extra buttons. I'm just going to go to a predefined example. So I'm going to press the help button. And down here, you can see a list of help. Uh, sorry, our predefined templates, many for different types of transactions. And in this one, we're just going to do the customer price lists. So let's just double click on that. And you can see here we've opened a template that's already been created for us. There's a series of tags in row A1 which allow Post-Trans to understand what data you want to push and pull into the columns within Microsoft Excel. So to extract that pricing information, I'm just going to simply press the Extract button here and press Overwrite All. It's just asking me which company I would like to deal with. I'm just going to enter that company. Post-Trans already saved the user and password information, so I'm not asked that again. Of course, you can optionally do that. Now, you can see the list that we just saw. We just want to create a new price band, so I'm just going to copy that, create that, and I'm just going to change that to price band D. And let's change this description also. So that's created that. I'm just now going to import that back into Sage Line 50 and you can now see that row 10 has been sent into the system just to make sure we can press extract again and read it all back and there we have row D sorry price band trader price band D just to prove it's created it now in this template we've also got an extra sheet here which allows us to hone in on the pricing so I'm switching to that and again that would also be accessible from within the help button, this option here. Um, and as you see, the the uh, number of tags has changed because obviously there's different data. So let's click on extract, which will pull out our prices. So there we can see all our public and trader A, B, C. And we're going to create trader D prices. So we can see that's all come through. We can also see the cost and the sales price been brought through, which is additional information, which may be useful if we would like to use the formula to calculate the new pricing. So as I said, we were going to copy Trader A and create Trader D. So I'm going to take all of this here using standard Excel functionality. Let's select all Trader A prices. And just copy that to the clipboard. Let's go down to the bottom of the sheet and paste that into the sheet. So there's our stock items and there's our price. We've all got discount percentage on here because I could just change that by simply pressing space and seeing 
a list, space and tab away. See the complete list. So I could change that to an actual sales price of £5. That simple. Obviously, I'll be losing money, so let's just change that to £17. So that would define a special price. Now, of course, we're going to change that to Trader Price D, which we just created. So again, I'll type TRA and tabbed away and present me a list with anything that started with TRA. I'm just going to double-click on the anchor to copy it down Excel. So that's defined my price list. Let's just go to the bottom, and I'll just show you how easy it is to add something to that price list. Obviously, um, a K gives us a keyboard. So there we've defined a keyboard, and I think special prices was that option. There we go. So I just typed a 1 in there, and it's £10.50 is the cost price. So we need to make uh, let's set that to £18. And maybe uh, we're going to put some hard disks on here. So I'm just going to press space and H-A-R-D which will find any stock items beginning with HR, which contain HARD. So there's my list of hard drives. And again, I could define a special price. And let's make those £89 for this particular license, uh, this particular trader price. And of course, I need to define the pricing code, which I just have done by simply copying it down. So that's given me price D. So I'm just going to press the import button again. And that will post those new records into Sage Line 50, as we can see, has been marked posted. And of course, we could press extract, which will bring everything through. I'm just going to use a filter here because in line two, we can just type TRA to search, select trader price D, and that's going to be my filter. So now when I press extract, you can see here it's saying price list equal to trade D. And if I press overwrite, there's all my priceless Trader D, which I just created. So you can see there how easy it is to extract, copy, and manipulate pricing information using Post Trans. If you're watching this video from YouTube, to go to our website, simply click on the link in the description below. If you're already on our website, you can scroll down slightly, and below this video, you'll probably see some related links to associated articles. Let's just show you some of the resources on the website switch over here's the home page you can see here we have a series of menus at the top and if you allow them to expand you can see there all the different types of importation or extraction you can use with post trans and sage and also the transactions you can post but importantly there's a training section here if we go to the training section that describes in detail how to alter a post trans template using the tags that we briefly discussed in the demonstration also on the website is a blog which you can subscribe to and I thoroughly recommend that so then you can learn of new functionality and uses of post trans. Because each of these articles maybe hones in on a particular function, a particular tag or a particular way of using the product to do a particular um, job. For instance, expanding bill of materials on an order, code searching, protecting templates, importing CSV files, pricing, managing VAT, order, currency, you name it, it's all in there. Uh, and that is easily accessible from the software itself. So if I switch back to a template, and this one's an order template, and I've just got the tag window open here on the right. But you'll see as I scroll down, this one here, um, TL description, which is the actual product description, actually has a blog article. So clicking on there takes me to that blog article and explains in great detail the implications of using that tag and the many different options, maybe in system setups, alters and behavior of that tag. So hopefully that will help. Also, we have uh, the help button itself on the button bar, which takes you to kind of a context sensitive help um, and also takes you to the training page, which explains how to manipulate and alter that template. And in addition to all that, of course, we have these blue help buttons here, which are easily accessible. They're also in the setup windows within Post Trans. So again, that takes you to a blog article. For instance, this one's about making the cursor follow a certain path that will then take you to that article and explain how you customize that individual functionality so there i hope you've seen um, many different functions and um, online resources that we provided you to enable you to customize post trans 
to create a template to uh, help you or your customers. So I uh, thank you very much for watching this video.